Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the 55 gallon drum bin. Alright, it's been a little bit since we've had a look at these guys, so let's do a little bit of investigation before we commence with feeding. Moving back the, the bubble wrap, you can see there's a lot of them right on the top there. Looks like they're already doing a really great job making castings. I see cocoons right away. And I don't see much in the way of pest species. So that's good. So let's pull that back a little bit more and see if we can find where the feeding is. I know I didn't have any bedding last time, so I think I used cardboard. Um, so that's probably not going to be as broken down. But, looks like we have a nice worm ball here in with the orange, or is that an orange? Or a pepper? Nope, I think that's a pepper. So it looks like they're absolutely getting in there. But you can see there's all different sizes of worms. Little tiny ones and pretty good size ones, really. So let me collect up any bedding that's still laying around. Oh, there's another. Wow, that feels real squishy. I was just going to collect up the bedding, but looks like we've got a worm party. Alright. Looks like they've got a little bit of food left, but you can see this is a solid worm ball. And I'm trying to decide what that is. I think that's bread that they're in with. And honestly, it smells a little funky. So I'm glad I came down here to open this up and get it some air because it does smell funky in a bad way. It's been about two weeks, I think. That's the shredded paper from work. So... Let's make sure all of this food and other... all gets a chance to have some air. It's like food and looks like they're doing a really good job though. There's some corn or something. Celery maybe? Yeah, it totally looks like this end where we put the most recent feeding is doing really good. Avocado with coffee grounds in it. They're hanging out right in there. But yeah, considering that it smelled a little funky in there where the bread was, I'm kind of surprised that there weren't any gnats or anything. So it looks like the bubble wrap is really keeping out the pest species. Or keeps them from smelling the food in here or something. Okay. But that looks like that's it. So, pile this up a little bit. Put the old stuff down at the bottom. There we go. Then I think I'm going to take a look over here and see how we're doing drying out here. That's pretty that's pretty dry over here. Let's let's move you over. So the top is is actually really dry. But if we kind of feel down in there still the deeper it is the more 
let's just say that it's probably not too wet, but I certainly wouldn't want to try and sift it. So I'm going to continue on with my fluffing here. They are also looking like they are absolutely not moving out of this area. I mean, from a human perspective, it would seem like this, this area is completely devoid of anything worth eating. Except for maybe the avocado. Some chunks of wood or stems of something. Uh, and some of my other bins where I continuously recycle the leftovers. I mean, I imagine that some of the banana peel stems and other food hard bits probably go through at least three versions of a bin before they're completely broken down. Things like maybe avocado shell they can take quite a long time and that's fine I just sift them out and put them back into the next bin but I really would have expected especially by now that the worms would have moved out So I'm going to make sure I flip over this middle part too. Just moving whatever chunks of food I find. Putting the finished at this end. I think these are like silk tea bags or something. They take, that's probably been in here more than six months. Once in a while, I do find like a piece of plastic from something. I don't, I'm not entirely sure where it comes from. But when I do find it, pull it out. This side does not smell at all. So we're not having any problems with things going anaerobic on the more finished parts here. I did see that the once, but I have not seen that since. So whatever was causing that to happen must have finally completely broke down. All right. So let's go back to focusing on the leading edge here and getting them set up. Just kind of move the big stuff over. Continue with the th with the trend of putting the more finished castings on this end, moving any of the big parts. Now that I've started microwaving the green bags, I do notice that they move a lot faster. They do definitely seem to break down much faster after they've been microwaved, which simulates maybe a professional composting place.
Okay. Seems like as they finish off things, I keep moving back to the center line here. But that's fine. The longer it lasts, the more chances everything has of moving out of the finished part and wanting to move in here. Okay, so I'm going to use this as our basis for our feed today, all the cardboard and stuff. Alright, so for today what we have is corn leaves. We know that's going to be in there for a good long time. But then I also bought some cucumbers and they got thrown back into the back of the refrigerator and forgot about. And anything in that family generally goes pretty fast. So we're going to give them a little bit of melon as well. And we're just going to make sure that that is completely covered back up with the old castings and then eventually the bubble wrap. Castings will make sure there's enough bacteria in there. And then the bubble wrap will keep out the undesirables. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. For today. That's it for today. That's it for today. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.